Sometimes you may need to calculate how much airflow volume is needed to control the concentration of flammable vapors. And that's what we're doing in this problem with this formula. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the problem. A shop manager wants to keep the concentration of gasoline vapor in his shop down to a level that is 5% of gasoline's LEL of 1.2%. What is the required volume of ventilation air? There are two gallons of gasoline evaporating over a 12-hour period. Gasoline's specific gravity is 0.75. The molecular formula for gasoline is C7H18 and a molecular weight of 102. The shop temperature is less than 75 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the formula that you would use to calculate the volume of airflow needed. This is very similar to some other formulas we've seen for calculating the airflow required to control other contaminants like acetone, but there's a slight difference here when you're dealing with flammable vapors. But let's just walk through the formula and talk about the different components. Again, Q is your airflow volume or air, airflow rate. 403 is a constant. Uh, specific gravity, SG, is a constant. ER is your evaporation rate. And sometimes you will see, see this formula written with a W instead of ER for evaporation rate. So if you see a formula that looks like this, it doesn't have ER, but it has W. W is your evaporation rate. And this is a formula you're likely to see provided to you on the CSP exam. Um, K is your safety factor. And there are some, some variations that you may see. Instead of K, it may be S sub F instead of K, but it's still the safety factor that you're using to calculate the volume of airflow you need. 100 is a constant. MW, molecular weight, LEL, lower explosive limit of the substance. And B is a temperature adjustment factor. If it's less than 250 degrees Fahrenheit, F equals one. If it's greater than 250 degrees Fahrenheit, F equals 0.7. And most of the time, we're going to be below 250. Most of the time, it's going to be F1 for us. Um, one other thing I need to mention, uh, we have talked about LEL in class. We've talked about LEL and UEL and flammability range. You may want to go back and, and review that if you're, if you're not clear on what we mean by LEL. Pretty simple process, but there are some preliminary calculations. First thing we need to do is calculate the evaporation rate in pints per minute. Uh, we've got gallons and we've got hours, so we need to convert gallons to pints and hours to minutes. In one gallon, there are eight pints, so in two gallons, we have 16 pints evaporating over 12 hours, which is 720 minutes. Once we have our pints, and the total number of minutes for the evaporation time, then we just divide the pints by the minutes, and we end up with an evaporation rate of 0 0.02 pints per minute. Now we have everything we need just to plug into the formula and do the multiplication in the numerator, the multiplication in the denominator, and voila, there we are. Our desired flow rate to maintain this level of... Uh, contamination of flammable vapor is a little less than 100 cubic feet per minute. Now we need to go to our ventilation system, make sure that it's providing that flow rate that we need. Uh, one other thing I need to mention about the uh, K factor. The K factor is determined by how conservative we want to be. Uh, this is very conservative. We want our flammable vapor concentration to be 5% of the LEL, which is very conservative. It could be 50% of the LEL, and that would still probably be satisfactory as far as avoiding the potential for flammable vapors to be ignited. If we were 50% of the LEL, that's good. But this shop manager, he's being re you know, really conservative. He's setting it at 5% of the LEL. And that 5% of the LEL converts to 
a K factor of 20. And I don't have that anywhere here on the formula, but the K factor, uh, write this in here, for this problem when we're dealing with flammable vapors is 100 divided by the percentage of LEL that we're shooting for. In this case, we're shooting for 5% of gasoline's LEL, so it's going to be 100 divided by 5 equals 20. If we were shooting for 50% of gasoline's LEL, it would be 100 divided by 50 equals 2. Uh, so, again, just wanted to make sure you understood that because I really didn't go into that in this formula. Again, the K factor is based on how conservative you're wanting to be with your percentage of the LEL of the flammable substance that you're working with. If you have any questions about this, let me know. And uh, I'll do my best to get you squared away. Uh, but again, that's basically it. It's fairly simple once you get the numbers and get them plugged in. The preliminary calculations for this one were uh, gallons to pints, hours to minutes, calculate the evaporation rate. The K factor also a preliminary calculation equals 100 divided by the percent of LEL. All right. I will see you in the next video.